everyone, day two. Uh, we're gonna be working on installing the front mount intercooler. This one here, we're gonna work on everything else went really, really well yesterday. So, we got the IMG AOS installed, working good, we're proud of that. And then we got the Nishimoto um, race intake installed. Blake lost his mind on the turbo sounds. Yeah, so now we're gonna move on to doing the front mount intercooler, um, Nishimoto front mount. Um, and likely we're gonna try and get in the Mishimoto radiator as well yep. as um, off the line uh, race for max. Yes, check in today. First step got the bumper off. Now we're moving forward. She is without the bumper. The front crash bar has been replaced. This is where the uh, front mount intercooler is gonna be located. So, needless to say, my crash bar is now my intercooler. <laughs> there you go. She is. What are your thoughts, Aussie? Beefy, a little heavy, but the construction is great. And this reminds me of the intercooler I had on my Eagle Talon um, that was from AMS. It was basically like the same size, a little taller, yeah. maybe a little shorter, but it was, it was huge. So, I, I can imagine this supporting over 600 horsepower or something. So Jeez. It's going to be great. Lower intake temps. And look amazing. Oh yeah. Didn't film much of the process, but the X-Line Mishimoto race, uh, radiator is installed. Uh, went in pretty nicely. A little bit cramped with this pipe here, but I think we should be good. Next, we're gonna do the coil packs and, and the spark plugs. And after that, we're gonna move on to the intercooler while we have everything accessible. Hey everyone, so a quick update. We got the spark plugs installed the One Step Colder NGKs. We also got the off the line street ignition coil packs installed as well. We had to remove the battery, move a couple panels, uh, but we finally got that done. So now with all that out of the way and the radiator installed, we're gonna start installing the pipes on this. Those are the cold side, those are the hot side. And we're gonna start routing it through here, up through here. We're gonna remove the top mount intercooler, start replacing everything there. Night time. But here we are, we're almost done. We have the pipes running. Bypass valve needs to go on. Intake needs to go on. Coolant in the radiator. Read the coolant, we're ready to go. Yep. And the bumper. <laughs> and the bumper. Hey guys, 20 hours later, um, Asi and I, we went through the night. Uh, we got all the parts installed. We also had to drill part of the front bumper out so that we could fit the massive intercooler. Um, unfortunately, I didn't get to film any of this just because it was super hectic and it was uh, a very exhausting job and we went through the night into the morning. 20 hours, 20 hours under the car, but we got it done. We got it done and uh, I can't wait to show you guys the final results. I'll post a couple photos of them right now. You can take a look at them, uh, but yeah, it looks beautiful, looks great. Um, again, thanks to Aussie for powering through 